Meta game round three. Pete and Charlie. Um, before we start, Charlie's getting our beer. So I'm gonna show you his murderer's bathroom <laughs> in his apartment. This thing is fucking scary. Ready? Check this shit. Oh, the lights on the other side. Look at this shit. Hold on. First of all, there's a pirate flag right there. But uh, let me back up. Get out of the way. Get a better view of this fucking like I go in there with a butcher's dang tank? hole in the <laughs> like. There's a toilet and a sink <laughs> and a mirror. But then you got like random fucking shit. Like this drain in the middle of the fucking floor where you can just murder people and drain their blood. <laughs> and there's like this random fucking creepy ass half pipe thing. And this box. What's in this box? Who knows? There's like this weird electrical thing over here. And I don't know. It's fucking creepy. Charlie's gonna murder somebody in here. It's gonna be fucking. It is going to be me, because he's debating poorly, and he's going to get mad. According to the comments, I won the first one so far. Because there's one comment, and obviously. That rolls all. Do you want me to leave the murderer's bathroom party in or take it out? No, you can leave there. All right. Record. Well, we're recording right now, so it's not, let's not w well, record us watching another one. I'm seeing if there's new comments. Right, I'm going to hand the... Charlie's going to film this one. All right. <clears throat> Decks are shuffled. Five cards. Can you hold that end cards? Are you capable of doing that? Yeah, I'm just checking the zooms and stuff. Ooh, I got some good ones. Here, I'll... While you... Yeah, please. You do yours first. Okay. So... There's that game, which I do know. Charlie won't know it, though. Oh, yeah, yours has a little bit harder time with close up in this. Yeah. See, I think it might just be the small screen, but... Figure it out. There's that one. That again. Oh, I mean, that one. <laughs> Not like he'll know which one I got again, so. <laughs> that one, if you can read it, sorry. Mac review, not good. And then there's that. Alright, so I'm going to pass this back to Charlie. Alright. So, we have that one. Boom, boom. Turn around your beer. You can see the label. We're going to get sued. That one. This one I'm pretty excited about. And I'm kind of confused about these two. It's kind of one and the same. But what ifs? Booyah. Alright. So we have which is more culturally sophisticated again? Ugh. Which create a more intense subculture? Which makes better use of audio? Okay, he does not like the idea of sophistication. I don't like it, especially when the middle one is awesome. Maybe um, who gives a fuck about audio? So I'm gonna have to argue. Hmm. Just because he said that now makes me want to get rid of this. Either one, though, is... They're both good. I have cards both. that will work for either that I can argue both. I have to do this... I have to do this strategically. Strategery is the word you're looking but for. But I have to do it stra stra strategically. Strategically, yeah. You're welcome. Uh, I knew the word. I was trying to make fun of you the way you say it. Strategery? Um, Fuck yeah. Fuck you. Uh, so, because I feel I have a card that I can argue this for and he might not... But he might have a card he can argue this better than the card I can. I'm getting rid of this. Just so you know, the card I'm putting down is going to be the same card I would have argued for either case. Mine is different, but... Okay. Alright, so, ready? One, two, three. Gran Turismo versus Parappa, Parappa the, the Rapper. Rapper. I already don't like this. How's it feel, Pete? Hey, this is actually a good argument. This is pretty decent. Um, We're going to switch. so I can. Oh, you can flip the coin. That's true. You're not incapable of flipping coins, are you? Caught. Heads. Um, I'm... Lady Liberty's Tales. Tennis Tales. Alright. Alright. I'm going to... Do you have the... I'm getting the timer up. Alright. Beer. Beer. Alright. Two minutes on the clock, and I am going to go first. Okay. That's right, 
your fake confidence. Fake good courage. <laughs> okay. Well, Parappa the Rapper obviously uses a lot of audio in its game. I mean, the game is all about audio. It's, you know, one of the progenitors to, like, the rhythm genre in a way. Um, Gran Turismo, however, makes better use of audio. If you're talking about use of audio, in Parappa the Rapper, the only real use of audio is that there's these songs, and it's just a means of, like, you, you have to time the button presses, but it's... If you look in terms of the rhythm genre, it was a very very basic way to pair control mechanics with music. I mean, just in terms of other games that came along in the rhythm genre, you know, like frickin' uh, frequency, amplitude, uh, going to things like audio surfaces, just like stuff that like better tied the music with the controls. Parappa the Rappa does have great audio, but I don't believe it makes great use of its audio in t context of the game. Gran Turismo, like, you're racing cars. They, Polyphony Digital takes so much care and passion with how they make their games. Audio is one of their like primary concerns. They want those cars to sound authentic. They want... If you heard that, that was Charlie fucking farting on our debate. On my debate. He's saying that my debate is stinky. Um, <laughs> yes. But, hey, shut up. But seriously, no, Gran Turismo, like, it's... Audio is a key element of it. You want those cars to sound right. Um, people who take driving simulation seriously and people who consider Gran Turismo to be the, you know, granddaddy of all driving simulators, that audio has to be, like, top-notch, you know, perfection. Like, people are not going to settle for anything else. And I think when you get down to the seriousness of the driving simulation, the audio also helps with the driving, like... Hearing the way the tires squeal against the road probably helps people. I'm out of time, but I think that's better. All right. And now Charlie is going to counter-argue. When he is ready, I will hit the timer. I'm good. Go. Well, Pete argued, you know, that it's a basic way of using, you know, the, the early mechanics of rhythm games. But that's exactly what it was. The game came out in 1996 on the PlayStation. The very first one. Yeah, it's on the card, Pete. We get it. It's fine. I can know that. I knew it anyway. It was one of the very first rhythm games that incorporated music. You can't expect it to live up to the sound quality, the the way audio is used now in current rhythm games, like Rock Band or uh, uh, Garage Band. Or Garage Band's the thing on MacBooks. <laughs> Rock Band or any of those. New, I don't play them, so I don't know. Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero and stuff like that. You can't compare it because it's not the same. It's the very first. It's one of the very first ones that came out, and it's Parappa the Rapper. It's all about music and the way that is. I'm gonna rephrase this a little bit. Rapping is a music genre. The game's about rapping. I mean, yes, you have your button sequences, and the gameplay is based around you know matching up and pairing. Uh, with quick time events, but you can't say it didn't make a good use of audio because the audio is the whole game, and it was a wild, a wildly popular game. And I mean, there was three of them, I think, two, two or three of them. And the first one, I played it, I played the shit out of it, thought it was great. But when it comes down to it, the game's all about audio, and just because it's early and it doesn't live up to, you know, the standards of today, doesn't mean that it doesn't make good use of it for its time. Looking in the context of time, it, it doesn't get much better. I mean, that's like, you should have heard an argument about Tim Pinelli and Root Beer Tapper, for fuck's sake. I mean, he's talking about... Oh, I thought I was out of time. It, this, it's a game about fucking music. Period. I just want to show something on the cards, because... Charlie, for some reason, felt it important to mention dates. You can't see because the macro sucks. But that's the Parappa card. It says 1996. That's the Grand Turismo card. It says 1997. It's only one year difference, just saying. But anyway, um, date's not important. Anyway, yeah, I guess that was, in a way, a counterpoint. So just neglect that. Strike that from the record. Um, so the closeness of this camera kind of sucks for I this. I think it's just a small screen. But... Like, I think on the actual video will come out Well, there. What, what I'm going to do is... Uh, I want people to leave in the comments what they prefer, the 
original iPhone recording for round one, the sideway recording for round two, which made you know a different perspective, or the Charlie's flip video for this one. Although you're not going to get a chance to tell us right away because I'm going to – we have enough battery to record a few of these in quick succession now. So we'll probably have at least uh, another video or two after this one that will be recorded on this. But let us know in the comments which method of recording you prefer. All right. So metagame out.